I just wanted to um, make you aware of trials which are cur currently active um, at, at uh, PA and within Icon Cancer Care at the moment. Um, the VCAT trial is one that looks at using um, subcutaneous bortezomib <coughs> or Velcade prior to treatment and this was a really handy trial before the government started paying for it and we had this available to us about six to twelve months beforehand. Um, its use to access bortezomib before has now sort of been lost a bit but we do uh, then use uh, this drug uh, given under the skin afterwards in, in maintenance. So this will be a good trial to see if maintaining people on bortezomib after transplant gives them better outlook than those that get standard maintenance on other drugs, particularly thalidomide, which is what they're comparing it to. And uh, the, um, here they refer to the treatment after as consolidation, and sometimes those words are interchangeable, consolidation and maintenance. But, um, certainly that is still an open and active trial at the PA, um, but it probably won't be recruiting as many as we used to with the access through the PBS now. Uh, this is a relatively newly available trial, but it is limited to those patients that have relapse refractory disease and again using one of these drugs that end in IB, um, Ixazomib, which is related to bortezomib, um, and it's uh, used for patients <coughs> Um, that have uh, relapsed refractory disease and it's um, used in, in uh, contrast to patients having the drug lenalidomide or Revlimib. There are two trials which are just about to be opened at the PA. One of them um, is a trial that's looking at using this drug pomalidomide um, versus pomalidomide and dexamethasone for um, people that have had relapse uh, uh, myeloma, particularly after they've had lenalidomide. So again, as I said, pr providing a fourth or fifth line treatment um, for those patients which we just didn't have easily available to us before. Um, and then uh, there's a, an upfront trial which will be quite interesting in looking at the comparison of people being treated with a uh, combination of bortezomib um, melphalan and prednisone versus uh, bortezomib, lenalidomide and dexamethasone in those patients with uh, newly diagnosed myeloma and therefore patients that, um, uh, that uh, um, uh, sorry I, I stand corrected, uh, for those patients that, that then go ahead to transplant and then looking at, at different consolidation choices whether it's uh, lenalidomide, dexamethasone or uh, lenalidomide alone. So. Um, so using a slightly um, different uh, treatment um, and, and also a, a different maintenance program. So again, these are just waiting for uh, approval through ethics committees, um, but it is part of the ALLG, which is the Australasian Leukaemia and Lymphoma Study Group. Um, the details of this side are not that important, but again, these are more uh, trials which are available. Um, Kerry Taylor ha is uh, another doctor with uh, Icon Cancer Care who's based out of the MARTA, and he is the principal investigator on these two trials. One is looking um, at the drug um, elotuzumab, which is an antibody against a protein on the surface of the plasma cells. and then another one which is looking at bony disease and again this one is, is targeted towards this thing called rank ligand um, uh, and it's comparing it to our standard treatment Zometa um, and the, this new agent is called uh, denosumab, sorry, get my mouth around it myself. Um, and uh, so there are active trials within both the private and public sector looking at all these new agents. Um, you know, when I uh, started out in my uh, medical training, particularly as a uh, as a registrar, we just there was just nothing new on the horizon, and uh, and it's uh, it's really amazing that we've just got these new agents, and we're just totally bombarded and confused, as you probably are after listening to this talk, um, <laughs> about what we've got available to us, because we just it's just the 
the, the standard approaches are changing nearly every six to 12 months. We go, okay, what are we doing now? What are we doing now? We've got this available, what are we doing now? So um, it really is a highly changeable area and I, do, I don't see it stopping with all these new agents coming available. Um, so um, I just have to acknowledge uh, the Irish band U2 for this photo. Um, uh, it's, uh, this was their last album, which didn't go that well, but um, they, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> this photo shows not quite a line on the horizon. And I do hope that that is the case, that, that probably that, that there isn't any finality in the future with myeloma treatment and that whether it means uh, long-term treatment where people can survive a lot longer with fewer symptoms or if we truly have a curative disease, um, I'm not sure, but hopefully there will be no line on the horizon that we uh, will continue to move forward with treatments with low toxicity and, uh, and able to afford people the best quality of life. Thank you.